All right, we're getting close to Black Shoals, but first we have to do one more technical lemma. And so we have to do multi-dimensional Edo's lemma. And so last time we did a generalized version of Edo's lemma, and now we're going to more dimensions. So suppose we have a stochastic variable s with an equation ds equals a function of s and t dt plus b a function of s and t dx and s and v is a function of s and t. What is dv? So this is very similar to the generalized one we did last time. Last time, a was only a function of s, and b was only a function of s. And now we're generalizing it to also be a function of t and t, and v is a function of s and t. All right, so how do you start doing this? So before we did a Taylor expansion, now we're gonna do a 2D Taylor expansion. So 2D Taylor expand. And if you haven't done this before, this is kind of exciting. A 2D Taylor expansion for some delta x and then delta y is f of x, y plus first, first order stuff. So you have the partial with respect to x, delta x, plus partial with respect to y, delta y then you have the second order stuff. And in this case, you get the second derivative with respect to x, and then you have a delta x squared. Then you also get a some mixed derivatives here. And so this, you have a delta x, delta y. And then we get the, the y derivative, second derivative. And then we also get some higher order stuff, which we're not, I'm not even going to write because it's going to go to 0 pretty quickly. All right, so here's a 2D Taylor expansion. It's a bit more confusing than the one dimensional, but there's not too much more going on. The, the only non-obvious stuff is really this uh, interaction between the derivatives here. That's the the tricky bit bit. Okay, so let's do the ta the Taylor expansion, the 2D Taylor expansion of V. So V of S plus DS T plus DT is V of ST plus the first order stuff. So with respect to S of DS plus v dt dt and now we have the second order stuff and so the second order stuff has the factor of one half and we get the second derivative with respect to s ds squared plus the mixed one and then ds dt and then the second derivative with respect to t, <coughs> t to dt. And then we have the harder stuff. All right, so now already looking at this equation, we can see that we have dt's here and we have things that are slower, they're smaller than dt. So this will go to zero and dt squared, this will go to zero, ds squared, needs a bit more work. And so, you know, we're doing the same thing as before. V of S plus DS, T plus DT minus V of ST is kind of like DV. And so we have a uh, formula for DV. And what do we have? We have derivative with respect to S, derivative with respect to T. And now we'll expand this out.
So ds squared, our formula for ds, let's look it up. So it's ast dt plus bst dx. And so squaring that, we'll get ast squared dt squared plus 2 ast bst dt dx plus bst squared dx squared. And then again, anything smaller than dt, it's going to go to 0. So here we have a dt squared. That's going to 0. dt times dx. That's going to 0. And then dx squared, that is going to dt. By the uh, dx squared equals dt rule of thumb. And so what do we have? We have dv equals partial with respect to s, ds plus the partial with respect to t, dt plus a half b squared partial with respect to s dt so there you go here is Ito's lemma for a higher dimensional uh, formula and the critical thing is that this behaves as before and as we add extra parameter or extra variables we just have to add them to the front part here. Pretty cool.